it's now not the question whether you can make money from glove. The question is how often are you going to be making and how much you're going to be making, how many times you're going to make from the glove because it's going to go up and down many, many times. So like me, I buy, I sell, I buy, I sell, I buy, I sell. So it's not about whether you're going to make money. It's a matter of how many times you're going to make money because a lot of people always keep on reading all these stupid people who write a lot of stupid things uh, on KLSE screeners, la, on all those forums and blogs. La. Oh, the glove music is over. Glove music is over. The question is, when did you buy it? If you bought it at a very high, then it's over for you. La. But if you bought it at very low, then it's forever there. Because why every time it goes up, you buy, you, you sell. After they drop it down, you buy back again. It's up and down and down. La. The only problem is people keep on chasing a high when it's green and they buy. When it's red, they don't buy because they don't know what the hell they're doing. So the question is not whether you can make money from glove. The question is, how many times are you going to be making from glove before the demand actually tapers off? People know logic when they read that uh, Uncle Kunyuin say something, then they get scared or then they get excited. Then they go and chow ku in this one called AT. Then they go to that one, Masay. Then they run here, run there, run everywhere like, no, like a headless chicken. If you know exactly what you're doing, you know your numbers, you know the company's fundamentals, you know the company's sales, you know their profit, why the hell are you so kanchiang for what? It's like people are buying companies uh, that is losing money and no fundamentals and they go and buy, you know. But then when these companies uh, are like the fourth largest and second largest company and like literally big four, the big four are in KLCI, the big four glove, right? Top glove, Hatta, Kosan, Supermax, all in KLCI. But yet people are afraid that when they go and buy those spending stocks uh, at what? Uh, 30 cents, uh, 20 some cents. And then they are okay. I don't understand one. Why the hell are you afraid of buying a blue chip company on KLCI? I just don't understand. That just because some two people say what? Oh, it's going to be over. The game is over. Your money is going to be stuck there. Stuck your head, man. Have you checked out how much demand or what kind of quarter profits are? You know, uh, one quarter of top glove, uh, quarter profit, one quarter only can whack 80, I think, for the last, don't know how many years that they started operations to today. One quarter can be more than the entire existence of this other company called 80. Are you aware of that? So I'm not saying 80 will not grow. It will also grow. One quarter will whack 80 for don't know how many years they've existed. That's what I want to tell people. So it's not whether it's going to make money, whether the share price is going to go back up. It will go back up, but it's also going to come back down. So question is, did you buy when it's down? 